Hi there, today I have what I believe to be the world's smallest toggle double extender. Let me just give you a quick um, little demonstration. I I tried looking on YouTube and I'm not sure if I couldn't find the right keywords because I'm pretty sure somebody has at least one toggle extender, no matter how big or small it might be, um, on YouTube. But I couldn't find any that is a toggle extender. All I found were like lever ones. Um, and my friends on Cubehamster server uh, in the builder chat they said they don't know of any other they don't know of any other designs so I want to say that if this is the first one which it probably isn't um, then looks like the toggle extender other toggle extenders have something they need to work hard <laughs> um, so this is five by seven and uh, it's a toggle tileable double extender flush with the floor meaning a it's a double extender uh, it pushes up the block too and then um floor meaning that it's vertical and it pushes up um, what else it is flush meaning that when it is retracted you don't see any redstone on top like that or like that or like no, like that like there's a piece of redstone dust there nothing like that and um i actually turned off tile drops because i was getting so annoyed that if i had like dust on this and i broke it like the dust would pop off and i have to pick it up so it looks professional on the video <laughs> um this can be this uh comparator can be switched out with a repeater so yeah like that but for some reason i think that the um Comparator is a bit faster though. Uh, logically, it doesn't. It shouldn't make a difference because pistons ignore half ticks or something like that. Um, my friend Redstone Cheap did a video on it. And then the way this works is this is a mono stable that turns out two tick pulse. And that goes into this torch. So what happens here is the torches take longer to turn on than they do to turn off. So it's kind of like a piston extending. Uh, I'm sure most of you know that a piston. It has takes time to extend, but it retracts instantly, as demonstrated here. Um, so you see, they have a delay, but they all retract at the same time. But what's interesting is, is that if you have a certain amount, depending on the input length and the amount of time it takes to extend versus retracting, a or turning on compared to turning off in this case, then after a certain while, it'll send out a one tick pulse, or very close to it, like a uh, one and a half. Um, and, yeah, so, that's how this works, it, after two torches, it sends out one tick pulse, so, if you look, w when it gets to the top block, it just spits it out, and it doesn't retract it, like that, and then, uh, of course, three ticks later, that'll retract, and then it'll pull that piston down, um, like that, and then two, uh, two uh, four ticks later, I'm sorry, then this torch tower will, will uh, two, four, two ticks later, this torch tower will activate, which means that another two ticks later, or supposedly two ticks, I don't, uh, with the turning on and off thing, uh, in 1.5, it might be a bit different, but as of 1.4, two ticks, um, this will, uh, this top piston will retract the block in that position, so just go there. And then, um, here, I'll just slow it down so you guys can watch. So, um, yeah, you guys got a pretty good idea what's going on. And then, this proves that it's tileable over here. Uh, that's the right one. And then, left one. And then, right one uh, retracting. Left one retracting. And, um, so you can have as much as you want of these next to each other and it'll work uh, so if you want a sissy bar like generic b has but you don't really want to do the fancy thing and you don't necessarily have a three wide entrance so you can't use the ones that user sent because it had blocks coming in from the sides uh, and if you want like a whole row of these like maybe 20 or so you just tile a bunch of these and then you see how it's like a sissy bar but it isn't necessarily quote unquote nice because um, it does have, you can see the piston over here, but it works well enough, and it's not too bad in my opinion. So, uh, if you want one, you could try to give this a shot. And then, um, I think what makes the sissy bar is that, like, there's the block missing, and then, yeah. 
So let's get started before I screw things up too badly and have to start recording again, because this is my third time d uh, trying to do this. Um, I suck at being... Yeah, I'm like really ADHD. So, not really, but... So you want to make like a sort of like triangle thing, um, like that. And then you place your comparator or your repeater there. Redstone torch. And that should turn off. Block. Torch block torch and then you want to make your floor or leave your floor there if you're in survival or something then you want to put that on three block piston piston repeater on two and then block torch block torch and then you could leave it that like that and then you, when you activate it, it it should fix itself if you did it correctly and that's it to this, because there's not too much. I mean, there's only 35 blocks, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Uh, 35 minus 8 is 27, So, and only 27 of those blocks are being used. And then the top 5 are your floor blocks. So, I mean, there's only 20-something 20, 20 blocks to talk about. So, that's not that much. So... Yep, so I'll see you guys next time. Sorry for saying so, so much at the very end. So, like, um, bye.